here I am, I'm Abby and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be filming the Bible flip through, Bible tour video. I've been waiting to film this for ages because I adore watching other people's Bible flip through videos. So I want to show you mine. So I do use three Bibles but I am only going to be showing you inside one of them today because it's like my main one so that makes sense. So the first Bible I got is the Rainbow Good News Bible and I put tabs down the side, rainbow tabs. I have bookmarks in it but that's as personalised as it gets and I got this from my old church in 2012 so I was about 12. So that Bible is a children's Bible and this Bible is a teen Bible. So I, this is the Girls Life Application Study Bible, the New Living Translation. And as you can see, it's like got detail down the side and on the front. And I think this is really pretty. I got this at a church camp called Spring Harvest. I was on sale and I really loved it. So I got it and well, I got it in let me check 2014 so i've had this one for four years and i do still use this like i do still write stuff in it and highlight but that's just in the mornings when i do my daily bible verse this is what the layout's like i highlight and add notes because obviously i can't write in on the actual thing because there's words covering the whole page so i use post-it notes or yeah, I use post notes. <laughs> I was trying to be creative and actually start journaling in here, but as I said, it was hard because there's no space to. So I asked for my 18th birthday for a journaling Bible. And I got this one. This is the Holy Bible. I mean, aren't they all Holy Bibles anyway? This is the Holy Bible, the NIV version. It is the purple single column niv journaling bible from amazon i'll have it linked in the description if you want to check it out 10 out of 10 would recommend so this is the bible i'm going to be walking you through today because it's my newest and the one i love <laughs> um i have only had it for four months it's not a long time but as you can see it is big already it has a lot of tabs I do have many entries in here things highlighted but every page is obviously not full or touched um, so we'll just skip past them and get to the bits I've already done so now I've shown you all my Bibles I want to show you the inside of my new Bible so let's get right into the video So this is the front of my Bible and as we open it up, the first thing you see are my YouTube videos that I could potentially film in the future. I then have a angel pin at the top which is the angel of joy which I just really loved and would lose it because I lost one before so I thought I'll put it in my Bible then I know it's safe. These are some countries that I could potentially be going to. This is what my church gave to me. I got this from Etsy with stickers inside and I really love the, what it said, you make the world a better place. So I thought I have to put this in my Bible and I keep things that church have given me at youth that relate to Bible verses and so I just keep them in there. So this is from Just Art Planner, so I love that. So under here I have the addresses of my pen pals but I obviously can't show you that because I don't want to leak their addresses. Um, but I have them on post-it notes which you can see. Then the books and stuff. I then have prayer requests that people ask me and I write a list of things I pray for and every time I do my Bible reading every day I come here for this tab that says prayer and pray first and pray for them and yeah this is then from my church honor generosity acceptance authenticity and courage 
This is from Illustrated Faith on how to Bible journal and I thought it was really cute so I wanted to put it in the front of my Bible. So now we're at the actual Bible at the Old Testament. So here we go. So we're in Genesis and I sometimes do pictures down the sides to illustrate what I'm reading about. So this is when God created the earth. So underline keywords and write them down the sides. You can see the colour corresponds with what I underlined. I have all of these tabs at the top and as you can see I have one here and pink is pink and that's do not be afraid. So all of these tabs are Bible verses that say do not be afraid or do not fear to remind me that I don't have to be afraid because I have God with me. Another one there. I also put my Bible art from when I was younger that I did. As you can see it's Exodus 14, 14 so I thought I'd put it in Exodus because it illustrates what I was feeling at the time and how the Bible verse spoke to me. haven't really read any of this bit yet but I will certainly get to it I have lots of tabs that I ordered from various sites and they have bible verses on the back so if I want to put the tab in here then I just tape it up the top so then I can come back to it when I actually read through this and study this bit I can use this and incorporate it with how I want to illustrate that Joshua this is one of my favorite bible verses this is a sticker I have quite a few stickers that I stick in <laughs> and as you can see another example of tabs that I've they have bible verses on it and you can just see underneath i do also tab my favorite bible verses so i can just quickly flick to them i do also stick in different quotes from i got this from printress for example and it is a summary of ruth and it really hit me in that season of life so I stuck it in here. I also stick in my maps that I've done relating to certain bits of scripture. I also write underneath these tabs to save space and to show more things. One of my pen pals sends me Bible study sheets and I stick them in for the verse that it's talking about because I really like them and it fits in perfectly, it's just the right size. Job with a online Bible study group that I do so this is a summary of what I got from it and I just annotated as I read we then get to Psalms and I tried to do a psalm a day, which is why they're all completely different. And I don't think that they all have to match either. It's just how I want to illustrate it on that certain day and what the Holy Spirit and God is 
speaking to me. I also really like to stick in new pages to the Bible. Um, I have this notebook that literally fits in perfectly, it even has the circled corners, so I wanted to write the definition of joy and relating Bible verses and how to be joyful in all situations, so I did. <laughs> kind of use my bible as a journal like I put pictures in and stick things in to make things stand out But this is from a sermon and I wrote notes down the side as well, but they wrote, they, but in the sermon he spoke about so much stuff that I really, really loved, so I had to put it in here. This is from one of my pen pals and I really loved it, so I thought I'd stick it in. This is one of my favourite Bible verses and... This is a bit of um, a card that I got. So I stuck it in here because it's about trusting and this is about trusting. And then this is all of the Bible verses that are in here somewhere but they're quite hard to read so I wanted to make sure I could see them. This is one of the Bible studies I did from watching a YouTube video. This is from one of my other pen pals and I write on the back what it spoke to me about. This is one of my favourite, favourite chapters and as you can see I, as you can see when I do something important or study it a lot I write the date at the top of the chapter. I also write song lyrics if it relates to the verse and gets across what I want to remember. friends books and other things that relate to the bible verses so i write down what the bible verse is saying to me or what god is telling me that relates to it i think these are comments and Things that relate to what Sadie Robertson says about this verse in Live Fearless. I dig deep and study certain chapters and as you can see the words I don't understand I underline and then I write the definitions here in black so I can understand it fully. I also stick in things that relate to me and like this is um this is what this train spoke to me about when I got sent it by a pen pal these are words from when someone encouraged me and prophesied so I wanted to put it in here because I really liked it and thought it would match the verses this is another example of me properly studying it and digging in and dissecting everything
This is one of my all time favourite verses and I decorated it with tabs and wrote underneath the things that relate to plans and future. <laughs> This is from a Bible study that I read off of an app and I really liked it so I wanted to add it in and these are, they come in black and white but you can obviously colour them in as you, as I go through this you've probably seen some that are black and white that I will colour in eventually when I do that certain section. I love watching YouTube videos of Christians talking about different things in the Bible and explaining certain sections so I wrote what I got from the video and then just slot them in on post-it notes. This is what my nan made me and I loved it so I put it in here and I just like I I like writing things on cards and just sticking them with washi tape. I experimented with paint here and it was the first time I did it and you can't really see the words like you can see them if you look close up but you can't really see because it's a bit dark so next time I learned that I would use a lot less paint and just <laughs> properly stay in the margin but I do still really like how this turned out it's about um the sea so tied in Cyprus and it's written about in the Bible so I wanted to get a postcard because I did day trips to the places that Paul went to so whenever I go to places that are in the Bible and I do go and see the sites I will get a postcard and stick it in and write what I learned about that part. <laughs> the second time that I used paint and I really liked how this turned out I just went with a felt tip pen and highlighted that bit and then used paint here and wrote over the top and I as I said really really like how that turned out so paint is still a good thing <laughs> traced over certain designs and fonts that I really liked from colouring books and things so I can trace over them in my bible and this verse is about fixing your eyes on what is unseen and this is like fixing your eyes on the lord so I'm not a good drawer or an artist as I said before but this helps me to actually still be able to draw and be creative. <laughs> sticking postcards and things like that that make the bible verses jump out at you this is 
a part of the Bible study I'm doing with church at the moment. start of a bible study from coffee and bible time which i will finish i'm just doing other stuff because i don't like it all to be the same sometimes tabs do fall off so i just stick them back in with washi tape This is meant to go around but like it's so fat now that that probably won't ever go around again. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like, comment down below if you have any questions or DM me on Instagram or something and I'll be sure to reply. Subscribe so you can stay up to date for when I film and upload videos. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.